Hi, my name is Mark. Uh, this is pretty difficult to explain my art. I think any artist really finds it difficult. But I think the fact that I'm not an actor uh, <laughs> will explain my poor performance in this. Hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit about myself and uh, what my painting's about. I've always been interested in abstract art and I do hope at some stage to incorporate this in my paintings. You may experience through my website some of the paintings don't actually portray themselves in the true technique of abstract art. And this is partly born of the fact of how I approach painting. I see it more of an experimentation into my own imagination. Uh, so the techniques I use are not always the same. Uh, it varies. I've at the moment uh, doing work based on contour mapping. And this is a technique that I've invented myself, more than likely used by half the population of the planet, but it's new to me and I haven't seen it elsewhere. It's basically outlining uh, a design of a painting using contour lines, which is basically like drawing, but it's done in paint. And once the areas of paint have isolated, then I gradually build up the image to a final result with areas of colour resembling a, a, the context of a map, really, but obviously you have the final image. A prime example would be the one behind me, which is of my dad. This is the first finished one based on the contour, contour mapping system, and it, it's turned out well, and I hope this will go forward and sort of like develop my technique. But I've used other techniques uh, which have been purely abstract and that's basically laying down colours and areas of design and seeing how it develops in itself and hopefully I come to final results. I always find that pure abstraction rather difficult because you cannot in yourself determine its end. It's always changing, evolving and uh, perhaps that is the essence of abstract art is that um, a painting is never finished so many questions are never answered and uh, I always hope that no questions are ever asked of paintings and they're enjoyed for their context alone and that is by pure likability really about the work. Um, some of the works I've done in the past the ones based around viruses in the title Visions of Virus they alone have been based through the design complexities of viruses and I've used the images I've seen from the microscopic world to base the design of them but the actual colours, interpretation and the, the, the new landscapes that I have developed from them are purely unique but though they do tend to have some resemblance to viruses in themselves. So basically you can say a subject matter springboarded me into a design approach and the final result though is resembled in viruses other people can see them as different objects or different scenes. Other people have looked at them and seen different forms in them ranging from flowers to a, a weld in a pond. So to me that would spell that they're abstract. I'm probably going to get blown away by the art establishment saying that you know, I'm talking rubbish, but so do they. <laughs> no, but abstract is about different people seeing different works in one singular painting and the visions of virus paintings do fit that criteria. Different people see different things. My imagination is on the painting. My idea is there on the painting, but the actual vision is there for the viewer to uh, explore and come to their own conclusions. The whole aspect of my work is about, as I said, experimentation and the paintings themselves can come from natural designs like the visions of virus 
which is based around the design elements of viruses or they can come from the landscape in regard to contours of a landscape, uh, the mood of a landscape and the colours in the natural world and they are used as a springboard into the designs upon the canvas. So really I don't fit into any particular mould. Uh, I have a lot to learn and uh, as I say it is about experimentation but myself I treat it uh, within my heart and my mind as an exploration. It's an exploration of what paint can do uh, what I can do, what different approaches, methods can achieve and always to not stick to one particular finish, not aim for a particular result, be always open for change and to go with the change and see where it goes in the future. The contour mapping system was not a design concept I envisaged say two years ago. Last year I was working on paintings based around the title I've given Wonderland which is ongoing, it's not finished, it's, there's a pause to it but it is still there and I'm working on them. If you look at either of the websites, uh, the Yahoo 360 or the MSN MySpace website you'll see works, visions of virus, contour mapping and Wonderland and you may have noticed that a lot of the Wonderland paintings are unfinished and this is basically because of the pause and the approach I have to painting that I do intend to start an idea go with it start paintings and then new ideas come up and I start new ideas and new paintings and I can at some stage end up with a lot of paintings unfinished that's about um, discipline. Discipline, not very, very well on my vocabulary. So um, it's something I need to learn. But it takes away the fun if you follow a strict path and uh, strict, stick to strict techniques. As I said, it's always about an experimentation, an exploration of painting, the actual pleasure of painting. The ultimate aim of whatever painting I do, whatever uh, genre it would be deemed to fit into, whether it's abstract, expressionism, you know, it goes on and on and on. The actual painting itself, when it's sitting on a wall, is for people to enjoy. Every painting I do, the ultimate aim is for people to enjoy the painting, the same sort of feelings as I get from actually doing it. I always get pleasure from doing the painting. Sometimes you, you know, ultimately have frustrations because you've got the ideas and you've got the ability, but the two don't work at the same uh, speed. <laughs> so you end up with a mess. You know, but hey ho, that's the world. But yeah, they're basically fun paintings for people to enjoy and to smile at and to pose questions. You know, what what are the paintings? What do they mean? Have they got any meaning? Should they have any meaning? They're questions I ask myself and the viewer will also ask the same questions. And sorry, I don't have the answers. <laughs>